Okay, it looks like <laughs> I just got it. I literally just started. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me again. My name is Marsha Mello, and welcome back to The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Excuse you, I was doing my intro. You can't just interrupt me. <laughs> well, he can, and he did. Anyway, so you might notice that I'm not in the Imperial City today, waiting for Ignar to bring me more news. And there's a very specific reason for that. Because today I wanted to take a break from mods, and I wanted to do some canon quests. So, who knows how long this is gonna take. But I wanted to start here because it looks like... Oh yeah, I've got... <laughs> i got plenty enough for this. So, you know, you recall how I have a ton of stuff that I need to drop off somewhere, and I don't want to leave everything I own in the TARDIS. Um, I like to stay a little more organized than that, and also I just like to have a home base in places. So today we're going to do uh, another one of my favorite quests, which is... <sighs> you already... You just circled around. Whatever. Today we're going to do the quest to get Benerus Manor here in Anvil, and that's pretty simple. You just gotta... You wouldn't have find this. Market for a home. Uh, threw me off when he called me sir. I forgot I was playing as a guy. I usually don't. Oh yeah, the Anvil Chapel attack. I'll do that later. Uh, Manor. Yes, I'm selling my grandfather's house. Benerus Manor. There if you're go. interested, I could let you have it for a modest sum. A modest sum? I have to sum? sell it soon as I have pressing matters elsewhere. You're welcome to take a look at it. It is located across the street from the chapel. Yeah, so I Once heard. you buy, you get the key to the Sorry. front door and the deed of ownership. That's the deal. Would you like to buy it now? Uh, yeah, f 5,000 gold for an entire manor. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's a bit of a steal. Considering the dinky shack on the waterfront is 1,000 gold, and this is only five times more than that for an entire manor. <laughs> anyway, yes, of course. Excellent. Give it to me. Here's the key to the front door and the deed of ownership. I hope you enjoy your new home. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must attend to those pressing matters I spoke of earlier. Good day. Yep. He's gonna leave the moment I get the key in the deed. Alright, bye, dude. <laughs> Let's hear. Anyway, so I really like this quest because, well, first of all, you get an entire house out of it. Uh, but also just because I think it's a cool quest. It's one of those quests that's like, like, it's not that hard to do, it's not very long, but it gets you a pretty good reward in the end, you know? Uh, I haven't actually been to Anvil that much, so I, I was wondering if this Nern route was still here. It is. I should do that quest sometime too. <laughs> There's so many things to do, and I keep not doing them. Alright, so you might notice. Yeah, see, there's the chapel over there. It's not across from the chapel, but, you know, it's close enough, so whatever. Also, I turned on anti-aliasing for the first time because I realized my computer is a beast and can totally handle it. Especially since I have- I also have Carl's texture pack, so... What do you think? I can get really up close and there's no crunchy pixels. So, that's pretty cool. Anyway. Now, you might notice... <laughs> uh, that it's a little dark in here. In fact, it's almost sinister how dark it is in here. But I'm not going to drop anything off here yet, because I learned my lesson from, like, a previous time when I did that. And the house brightened and things changed, so... Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so we're just going to explore the house a little bit. I mean, yeah, all of this for 5,000 gold. It's totally a steal. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't... I never noticed those windows were broken. It's more obvious when you look at them from far away. I believe once the quest is over, all of these things are storage safe. And if you don't know what that means, it means that, uh, like, normally if you put your items in a container in this game, eventually they'll despawn because things are meant to reset after a while. It uh, saves on storage space. But in houses that you own, um, there will be... Uh, containers that are storage safe. So you can leave items in them as long as you want and they'll never disappear. So that's one of the biggest perks to owning a house. And trust me, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> I, I lost a lot of items on my first playthrough because I put a bunch of stuff in a, um, a container that was not storage safe. You also can't just leave things on the floor unless you're inside a house because otherwise... Oh, this one didn't need to be interesting. Because otherwise, they'll also disappear. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah, I think this is one of those barrels you can get inside of. Let's see if I'm right. Uh. <laughs> there I go. I'm in a barrel. I'm not sure anything in here changes. Um, I guess I can 
I guess I can test here. Let's find an item I don't care about. Uh, crap, I care about everything I'm carrying. All right, let's leave. Let's leave a potato in here. And and if this stuff is still here after the quest, then I'll know that the, nothing in here changed. And then do I still have? Ah, that's right. All right, just wanted to make sure. Another torch. Let's put something in here too. Why not? Uh, tomato. There we go. Oh, repair hammer. I need that actually. <laughs> Glad I looked in there. Repair hammers are always useful. Uh, well, I guess they're not always, always useful, but they're useful most of the time. Just take those. And, uh, yeah, you you might notice this, uh, <laughs> this, uh, sealed portal here that won't open, but it has a door symbol on it, which indicates that it should open. And if you look really closely along the edges of the wall, see those seams? See the seams in the wall? Haha, <laughs> you can't fool me. You can't fool me. There is something here that the game wants to hide from me. Oh, the bricks don't match up there. <laughs> that bothers me. Ah, well, it's fine. All right, well, let's, um... Yeah, basically that's the entire house, so uh, welcome to my <laughs> crib. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's put something in here too. <laughs> Actually, it's plain dark enough in here to uh, get some shut-eye. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely darker than this in my house when no lights are on uh, at night. <laughs> well, it's not really night, is it? I mean, well, it wouldn't matter anyway. <laughs> Just trust me on that. Uh, all right, so now, oh, I didn't even get any rest. Oh no, I forgot. Oh, please tell me I have like something. Dang it. All right, well, it looks like I can't fight the ghosts, but uh, you know what? That's fine, I'll use a spell. How many spells do I have? Oh yes, I went shopping the other day. Awesome, all right, yeah. Actually, let me show you what happens if you do this. Yeah, your attack has no effect because it's a ghost. Uh, if you want to fight ghosts, the only way to do that is to have a silver weapon, a magic weapon, or a Daedric weapon. Those are the only weapons that work against ghosts. So, uh, yeah. Ah, well, I don't need that. I need to do that. Oh yeah, and ice spells don't work on ghosts either. Jeez. Give me the ectoplasm. That's useful. Yeah. Oh boy. You know what? It's fine. This is fine. <laughs> oh, gold. <laughs> I'm easily distracted. Uh, let's see, bread loaf. I wanna. I'm just testing things, okay? I'm very curious. All right, now I can kill you. That takes like all my <laughs> magic up. Venerous Manor is haunted. I was awakened by ghosts that attacked me as I slept. As I woke, I thought I heard a crash from downstairs. I just searched the house and investigate. You know, normally when I play this game, I play with a mod. What the? What the heck? Did you hear that? There was a splash. Anyway, I completely lost my train of thought. All right, so it is now almost midnight. And yeah, it's still just as bright as before. All right, that's what I thought. Now I'm gonna go investigate the crash. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Ooh, look at the glow. Uh, skeletal hand. Scrap from Lorgren's diary. Diary makes mention of a secret room in the house that only a true-blooded Veneris can open. I'm gonna need to talk to Velowin about this. I may have to ask around town to find out where he's gone. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the people of Anvil are worms! How dare they criticize what they don't understand! I shall have my vengeance in a form they cannot possibly imagine. I shall use the souls of the departed to prolong my own life. The tome is very specific. I must have more bodies. Yes, more bodies. I must protect myself from these meddlers. They shall not interfere in my designs. I have constructed a room in the basement of this manor. It is there I will inter my- <laughs> I will inter my corporeal self, and I will transcend this plane of existence. Only a true-blooded Veneris may open the portal. So if I fail, however unlikely that may be, a descendant may attempt to follow in my footsteps to carry on the true way. To make sure our secret is safe, I have harnessed the spirits of those whose bodies I have defiled <laughs> to former guard that place. To forever guard that place, sorry. The fools think I don't hear them speaking. I can hear their rumor and innuendo. They intend to meddle in powers they barely comprehend. They call me an old fool and shun me. The young dare each other to step one foot in my yard. I've become the stuff of old wives' tales and campfire stories. They dismiss me as an oddity, but soon they will see. When all of Anvil lies in waste around me, when their corpses litter the streets and their blood dampens the earth, only then will my true power be known and feared.
Okay, so he sounds a bit... He sounds like a bit of a crazy person. Uh, I'm just gonna leave. Actually, I need the exoplasm. Never mind. Excuse me, sir. Can I have your... Can I have your juice? I hear the battle music, but I don't see the enemy. There you are. Excuse me. I don't have enough magicka. Well, that's good. I'll just have to wait for it to... Uh, it happened again! I heard a splash! That's weird. Is that a glitch? Alright, can I cast now? Thank you. <laughs> Fear me! Idiots! <laughs> oh yeah, I have yet to find something that will give me night eye so that I can show you what this game looks like without the blue filter over it when it's really bright. It's so pretty. It like lightens the colors of the sunset and it looks... Ah, oh, it's amazing. Okay, well my torch blew out. Uh, is this the rat lady? <laughs> I'm Arvina Thelos. It is! They call me the rat lady on account of all my pet rats. Let's go. I mean, hey, as long as they're vaccinated. I could- I don't care less what kind of pets you have. <laughs> well, you know, I have some opinions, but it doesn't really matter in a video game, does I'm it? Wilbur, owner- Yes, hello Wilbur, I know who you are. Uh, as soon as you bought the place, he pretty much up and left. I hear tell he's making his way to the Imperial City. Huh. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like me. What's it, what's his opinion of so, me? 31? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Is my personality not very high? Is that why nobody likes me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll need to level up my personality a bit. Alright, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh wait, can I? <gasps> yes! Haha! <laughs> my sneak reticule is in the middle of the screen, just where I like it. <laughs> Alright, let's um... <sighs> I've forgotten my hotkeys again. Okay, TARDIS relocate here is on 5. That's what I thought. Alright, cool. Yeah, we're gonna use the TARDIS. We're just gonna teleport there. Because why not? I can do whatever I want! It's a video game. Dematerialize, please don't crash. Or go into quantum entanglement. Alright. Ah, uh, wait, I should set the time first. Hour. Okay. And let's do... Zero... Uh, nine. That should make it 9 a.m., right? Yes, perfect. Okay, Imperial City. I'll just go to center. Maybe I should have gone to the Market District. Ah, well, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, he's in the Elven's Gardens District. That's right. Ooh, nice pirate ship. Is that the bloated float? Please tell me that's the bloated float. That would be so great. <laughs> he's... Oh, yeah. He's in here. I'm remembering now. All right. So, uh, Velwyn, you have some explaining to do. Oh, hi, how are you? I'm surprised to see you all the way out here in the Imperial City. Yeah, well, you know, I did teleport here, so of course it would be surprising. <laughs> Manor. So, you think I'm responsible? <laughs> I suppose you're right, as the manor used to belong to my grandfather, Lorgren Benners. I knew there was a curse on that place, which is why I sold it to you so cheap. I suppose I should have warned you, but I had to get out of Anvil. <sighs> oh yeah, that's your My excuse. My said I could move here to the Imperial City once all our loose ends were tied down. The manor was one of those loose ends. I see. I fear my own greed got the better of my judgment. I, I hope you weren't hurt badly in that horrible place. I suppose <laughs> I assumed you'd be able to lift the curse and be done with it. Yeah, because that's how that works. <laughs> Well, I have the diary scrap, so I can tell him that I have proof that he is the only one who can lift the curse. So. Lorgren Benneris was a strange old man, always dabbling and experimenting with magic. Yeah. He was mostly harmless, until the fateful day he came across a tome bearing the evil magic of necromancy. He became obsessed and decided that by using necromancy, he could prolong his own life. Yeah, that sounds about right. The dark arts contained in the tome called for him to dig up the recently deceased in the nearby crypts under the cathedral. Wow. When it was discovered that he did this, the Mage's Guild called for a quick meeting to decide what to do. It only took minutes to decide. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Led by a young upstart named Carahill, the Mage's Guild stormed Benerus Manor and slew Lorgren. Amid the chaos, his body vanished. What chaos? Because of this, the... <laughs> the people of Anvil concluded the manor must be cursed. You are the first person to set foot inside in a long time. 
The first living person, you mean. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, how did his body just disappear? But then I remembered, uh, he's probably- he's surrounded by ghosts. That would make sense. Alright, can you help me, please? According to the diary entry, it seems that I'm the only one who can open the secret door in the manor. Yeah. And I can't help feeling slightly guilty selling you the place under these circumstances. I'll meet you in Anvil at the Count's Arms. From there, we'll try to lift the curse together. Cool. All right. Uh, what's he going to say if I do this? Do you believe any of that? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you of course I believe it. I've seen it. I am the hero of Kavach. Oh, wait. One sec. I want to read this. <laughs> I want to do this quest at some point, too. The Grey Fox, wanted for theft, embezzlement, forgery, pickpocketing, counterfeiting, burglary, conspiracy, commit theft. <laughs> oh, so planning to steal stuff is just as bad as stealing stuff by itself. All right. Uh, grand larceny, tax evasion, slander, fraud, perf perfidy? What's that? An impertinence. Description. Wears a gray cloak that conceals his appearance. <laughs> Presumed male and colovian. Height between five and six feet. Normal weight. Hair and eye color unknown. Any citizen with information should contact the Imperial Watch. Watch Captain Hieronymus Lex. Interesting. All right. Well... Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> very interesting. Alright, so, hang on, while I'm, oh, wait, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going to do this, first of all. I'm gonna teleport back to Anvil, and before I go back into the manor, I'm going to get a silver weapon, so I can actually slash at the ghost and I don't have to rely on spells. So I'm gonna do Anvil, uh, center, I guess. Okay, well, yeah, it's, <sighs> it's on me outside. That's fine, I guess. Please be generous, kind sir. Yeah, yeah, good. Thank you. <laughs> the stupid voice thing. All right, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So, one of my favorite longer quests in this game is the Mage's Guild quest. So, yeah, I don't think I've done the Mage's Guild yet. So let's go in here. Oh yeah, this counts as stealing because I'm not part of the guild. All right. Hello, Excuse me. Is there something with which I can assist you? What are those shadows? Perhaps you're curious about joining the Mages Guild. Is it a mod doing that? Weird. All right, join the Mages Guild. As long as you're not a wanted criminal, there's a place for you in the Guild. Are you interested? Yep. All right then. You're now an associate of the Mages Guild. That was easy. Congratulations. You'll need to receive a recommendation from each local Guild Hall in Cyrodiil to advance in the Guild and be given any sort of responsibility. Hmm. They can be done in any order, but they must all be sent in to the council before you can enter the Arcane University. I see. Well, the good news about the the Daedric attack is that we don't have to get a recommendation from Kavaj. <laughs> Alright, anyway, that's all I wanted. I'll do I'll do the Mage's Guild quests another time. By the way, one way I love to make money in this game is to collect all of these alchemical stuff and then sell them back to the guild <laughs> because they're fairly expensive but yeah i'm not gonna do that right now i i am definitely not hurting for money since i did the collector quest you know what else i love to do in this game is enchant regular pieces of clothing to have defense on them so then you never have to repair your armor <laughs> life hack of the day there's a few things here yeah but this is what i came here for perfect now i have a silver dagger uh, doesn't do as much damage as my longsword, but I mean that doesn't really matter if the longsword can't do any damage, am I right? I think actually one of my favorite weapons in this game is a silver short sword because short swords are about as fast as daggers, but they're longer so they have more of a reach. So it's like the best of both worlds between a dagger and a uh, longsword. Gosh, this game is just, ah, uh, it's so pretty. Look at all of, just look at that bright blue sky. We ain't gonna see that in Skyrim. <laughs> I'm sure Skyrim's graphics quality is higher, technically, but it just looks worse to me because there's no I color at all. I was half expecting anyway. you not to show up. Are you ready to go to the manor? <laughs> Why would I just not show up? All right, yeah, I'm ready. Then let's get this over with. I don't relish the thought of spending too long inside of the manor. Follow me. All right, cool. Yeah. And of course, since we have to follow him... He's just gonna... I mean, I get it. If I was in real life, I'd probably just walk there too, but... I'm also kind of impatient. 
Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Am I an idiot? Yes. Do I care? Not even a little. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just reminding me of like, you know, early on in Twilight Princess when you have to like follow Colin's mom back to her house and she's like very heavily pregnant so she walks really slowly. Like much slower than Velwyn's going here. And you just have to carry the basket all the way over to her before you can get the fishing pole. Yeah, somehow that's what this reminded me of just now. Man, those were very interesting days back when I used to record like every single day. Yep. Made chill. Hello, sir. Have a coin. I've got plenty of them, trust me. Honestly, I feel really bad that I can't actually like help the beggars. Like there's no socialism in this universe. You just have to like give them some coins, but they're like just poor forever because it's really expensive to be poor. Anyway, sorry, I'm not playing this game to get up on my soapbox. <laughs> okay, Velwyn and I have arrived in Benner's Manor. I must proceed cautiously to the secret room's entrance and prevent any harm from befalling us if the curse is ever to be lifted from this place. Also, I just remembered what I was going to say before. This text box, um, in the Darnified UI mod, there's a way you can make these pop-ups stop appearing if you're like so familiar with the game that you don't need them anymore. But I decided for my YouTube channel, I should probably just keep them on so that the viewer knows what's happening. Okay. Oh. You lead from here. Hopefully that lighting looks much better. Without too much fighting. Yeah. So yeah, we basically just have to go through and make sure that Velwyn is protected. And I'm gonna... Hello? Oh, right. That other torch blew out, so I have to hotkey it again. Which is annoying, but it, whatever. This is why I like just having... Oops! That is not the button I meant to press! Sorry, Velwyn! Hold on one sec. I gotta cross the entire TARDIS to get back to you. Alright, here we are. Now look at that. Ain't that just fantastic? Anyway, there we go. That's the button I meant to press. <laughs> Belwyn, are you coming? Belwyn? Belwyn? Alright, whatever. Maybe I, maybe I have to clear the path for him. That's fine. Alright, excuse me. Hang on, is it still really dark without the- yes it is. Alright, Belwyn. <sighs> whatever. Maybe if I just go through, he'll follow me? Oh, he does. Okay, good, 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 good. That makes this much easier. Cool. Yeah, see, it's much faster when I can just slice through these guys like nobody's business. Oh, I need to level up again. Alright, I'll do that after this. <laughs> now that I have a permanent bed. I just have to remember not to forget about that reticule in the bottom there that says I need to level up. There we go. Perfect. Alright, Belwyn. Do whatever it is that is required to open this door. Still pretty dark. It's pretty cool and moody lighting, although I'm not sure how well <laughs> OBS picks it up. All right, cool. So, yeah, he's gonna open that door and then he's gonna run off because he's scared. <laughs> oh, that seam isn't even part of the. Oh well, it's probably just a glitch, I guess. Okay. <laughs> you know it's a good sign when you walk into a place and there's just a bunch of bones scattered everywhere. Oh, and uh. Yeah, this doesn't bode well. I'm just gonna say that right now. Oh, sorry, whoever you are. <laughs> Tomb of Unlife. Uh, I don't like the thought of this thing just like being out there in the world. It's only 350 gold. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, oh, <laughs> on that altar there. Uh, yeah, what's... Oh. And potion of healing. I like those. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I think you're supposed to investigate this after you beat Lorgrin, but whatever, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Sort of glow, but in the way glow and the dark stars glow, and not in the way that like it actually casts light on them. Things. Yeah, you can tell this game came out in 2006, even with my graphics mods on. All right. Anyway. That's some good voice acting there. The things I've done to the people of Anvil. The horrible, unspeakable acts I've committed. Demand repentance. Jeez. Gary was justified in his actions. Slaying me was the only way to stop the madness. I have accepted that fate. No. So I may make my final peace with the Nine. Please rejoin my hand to my body. Only then, when I am complete, will this eternal nightmare 
After touching the altar, I heard the voice of Lorgan Benaris. He said he wanted, he wished to atone for his past and make peace with the Nine. All he wished was to be whole again. This must be the way to lift the curse from Benaris Manor. I should touch his skeleton while I carry the bony hand and put an end to this madness. Man, that's some good voice acting just for one, one off character. Why couldn't they have put that much effort into <laughs> Men of Marco's voice acting and... Well, whatever. I guess that doesn't matter. All right. Well, I guess here we go. We're gonna free his soul or whatever. It never fails to amuse me how easy mortal man is to manipulate. Oh. You resisted me in completing the very thing Carrion and his cabal sought to prevent all those years ago. My ascension to immortality. Last time. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Stick twice. I no. Again. There we go. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're doing this right now. That, okay, yeah, alright. <laughs> okay, can I just, let me hotkey that actually real quick. Excuse me, sir. Actually, one sec, can I just like, can I take a screenshot real quick? Because I think this looks rad as hell. Uh, never mind. Alright, I guess I'm not doing that. Ugh. You bitch! Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. I can't die now. I don't have a shield. Wait, because I took it off. Uh, alright, cool, 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 cool. Alright. Uh, alright, well, ugh. He just has a staff. You can't really block that. Or you sort of can, but whatever. Completing the skeleton was a ruse, and Lorgan rose from the dead. I had no choice but to destroy him. With his destruction, the curse of Benaris Manor was lifted. I should return to the Count's arms and speak to Velwyn. Well, sucks to be you, dude. And that fire is gone. Ah, oh, well, it's fine. Don't worry. I mean, I could probably still take a cool screenshot here. Let me see. Uh, how do I... Yeah, actually, I forgot how to... I forgot how to get rid of the HUD, so never mind. Man, look at this. It looks so good with the texture pack mod, doesn't it? Alright, I'm gonna find out if lifting the curse deleted those items in a minute. Okay, first of all. Okay, the pair is still there. That answers one question. Oh, that's a sick screenshot. Ayo! Look at that! The table is fixed and- oh, it's dark here. Wow! Check that out. At well, the TARDIS kind of ruins the image, but that's fine. Uh, ugh, this stupid game. <laughs> uh, it doesn't fit on that shelf. Alright, so now all we need to do to complete the quest is go back to the Count's Arms and- uh, Morning Glories! I love Morning Glories. They're like one of my favorite flowers. See, look at that! Ouch. <laughs> oh god. So yeah, the plants and shrubbery around here is all alive again. Oh, look at that. Looks lovely. Look at that. That is my house. Too bad it's a bit of a walk. That's uh, slightly annoying, but you know, it's fine. This is why I, I like upgrade my speed so much more than other attributes because I am extremely impatient. Here he is. I'm sorry for running away like that, but yes. fear got the best of me. I'm glad you talked me into coming with you curse has been lifted. I feel like I've taken care of my family's unfinished business. Nice. Excellent work, my friend. May the manor give you many years of happiness. I'm now off to the Imperial City once more. Farewell. Thank you, my good sir. Now, let's go back to the house, and I'm going to sleep and level up. That sounds good to everyone in the chat.